Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. If this is your first time here, I do project videos using the Glowforge 3D laser printer. And if there's something that interests you, cause we on the road to 20K subscribers, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when I drop a new video. Welcome to the project. Okay, we're going to make a custom acrylic charm. We will be using some mirror gold acrylic, some silver glitter acrylic, some E6000, a jump ring, and two gold ropes. This is the design right here, RJ. But I'm gonna show y'all how I did this in Corel Draw. First thing we're gonna do, go down here to the bottom, create a new page. Go up here, select the font tool, and the font that we're going to use for the R is Times New Roman. We're gonna make this R about one and a half inches wide by two inches in height, like so. Okay, cool. Select that of it, select the font tool again, and we're gonna use, the J is gonna be this font called Aphilis. We're gonna select it, press okay, press the J. This J is going to be three inches tall by 0.6 inches in width, like so. Okay, cool. So we're gonna line up the J something like this right here. So we're gonna go over here, we're going to create a new page, go back to that page, we're gonna select the J and we're going to cut it out. Go over here to the new page, edit, paste. Okay, cool, that's how we're gonna do it. So let's start with the R first. So we're gonna go over here to the R, select it, go up here to object, we're going to convert to curves, we're gonna put a hairline around it, and we're gonna go over here and we're going to unfill it. Okay, cool. The R is basically done at this moment, but we're gonna do another little step to it. So we're gonna go over to the J, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Select object, convert to curves, go over here, select the hairline, unfill it. But we gotta add us a little part to the top of it so we can hook the jump ring to it. Go over here, select the circle tool. We're gonna create two circles. One is going to be 0.3 by 0.3 inches, like so. And the other one is going to be 0 0.15, 0 0.15, like so. So we're gonna select it. We're gonna grab this one that's 0 0.3. We're gonna line it up here at the top, right in the center of the J. Let's zoom in a little bit. It looks good right there. So we're gonna select the whole entire thing, the J and the little circle we just did it, and we're going to group it all together. We're gonna to take the other little circle that we created and we're gonna eyeball it and put it directly in the center, like so. And it all looks good, just like that. Let's select everything, group it together, edit, copy, go over here to where the R is, and we're going to edit Pace. So as you can see, we got it lined up right in the center, just like we want it. But to make sure that we line the J on top of the R, just like we want it, when, when it's all cut out, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna select this virtual segment delete tool, and I'm just going to start deleting parts of the J, like so. But you see like right here, inside of the R, these two lines right here, we're not gonna select, we're not going to delete that. We're gonna delete this part right here, this part right here. And again, if it's inside of the R, we're not gonna delete it. This part on the outside and this part, like so. Go over here and select properties and we're gonna change it to a purple color, like so, just so we can see it just like that, and we're gonna go ahead and change this outside color to a red. So, cause basically what we're gonna do is, let's keep it zoomed in, let's get rid of the properties. So basically what we're gonna do is, the red is going to cut out, and the purple, we're going to score those lines. So, and the J is right over here. While it's all selected, we can just change it to red, like so. And then we can just take the whole thing, copy, go over here to where the R is, paste it. But we're not gonna leave it like that. We're gonna move it to the side. And that's how I made the RJ in Corel Draw. Okay, we got everything cut out. As you can see, that glitter is looking really, really good. I already took the masking paper off and I also took the masking paper off the middle part of the gold because we're just gonna use some E6000 and I'm gonna glue it right on top of it, just like so. It's already starting to look good.
I'm just going to let it dry. Day two. And there you have it. Laser cut custom acrylic charm. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll see y'all in the next project. Let's go make something else.